what's up guys what's going on again i'm back with another quick fix tutorial in this video i'll show you some methods actually a best method for fixing the uh, api ms crt uh, runtime error mostly it's uh, happen on windows 7 and if you are facing this error on any other operating system then i'll show you how to fix this issue easily you can fix this issue you need to install the uh, i'll show you here what you can do it actually ms uh, sorry api ms crt runtime or anything crt and then runtime heap or you know there's a lot of other related errors are available so if you want to fix all those errors with one click then simply don't type here the missed del file if you type the missing del file it will redirect you on the delfiles.com and you can simply download the, this file and paste it into the windows operating system uh, in system 32 bit in c drive but in case if you uh, don't need to paste this one then simply you need to uh, type here the uh, read this tree Putable C++ 2015 uh, download now might be you are confused on here that if you are using the 32 bit then what you need to download and in case if you are uh, using the 64 bit then what you need to do is uh, for 64 bit and 32 bit like you can see you will get two files for 32 bit and for 64 bit uh, right now when you click here you will get here the two files in case if you are using the 64 bit then you can download both files but in case if you are using this 32 bit then i'm sure that only this uh, file will work this file will not work on your 32 bit operating system because this file can uh, support only 64 bit operating system so you can install this one but in sometimes a uh, lot of files supports only um, visual studio 64 bit in that case uh, actually those programs are not runnable on the uh, 32 bit operating system so it's better to down, uh, use 32 bit go on the 64 bit operating system and download these both files the select both files and then click on next and it will uh, ask you to start download using idm if you uh, your idm has expired then use the alt button and then click on the start again then click on the try again uh, sorry not alt you need to hold the ctrl button the control button and then click again to download this file and it it will it should start with the, with your browser now i i have already installed both files i'm gonna show you here um, as a proof that i'm using 64 bit and i have both operating uh, both files like the, uh, go the right click on this pc go into the properties and you can simply see here i'm using 64 bit operating system and i have both files just go into the control panel and just go uninstall a programs and here you can see microsoft visual c++ 2015 uh, and it's x86 the upper one is x64 means uh, 64 bit so basically 64 bit operating system uh, support both files the 32 bit and the 64 bit some files uh, not supporting but a lot of files are just work fine on 64 bit so this is the way guys you can easily fix these issues if you have any other related issues then then just let me know in the comment section i'll respond to you as soon as possible any suggestion for me like i need to change my tutorial with and uh, you know any kind of suggestion then just drop your comment i'll respond to you till then just take yourself a lot of bye bye